Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the layer effects in ArtRage 5. These are a new feature, uh, they're quite fun to use, uh, but they're very easy to overlook and they're a little bit complicated the first time you look at them. So I'm just drawing some squiggly stuff to really show it off. Let's have a big blob there. And well, you can ignore the background, it's just a quick landscape I painted to give us something more interesting to look at. So I'm using the ink pa pen by, for most of this, but I've also thrown in the paint tube, just so you can see the different effects with lots of texture and no texture. Now I'm just going to hide the menus, that's just by pressing tab, and I'll just press D to centre that. Okay, to get to the layer effects menu, you want to open layers. Uh, actually, you can also just right click on layers as well to get the same menu when it's closed. Now you can see here that my thumbnails are a little bit bigger than the default thumbnails that you see when you open ArtRage 5, and this is because I've changed it to large layer previews. Because I like to see a big picture, I don't want to have to read the text. If you do have some text, the default one will show you the name easily, but if you switch to large layer previews, you can see the picture instead. I prefer that. So, to get to the layer effects, you uh, go to the little menu or you right click on the layer and go to layer effects in the menu. You will then get this menu popping up. It has shadow, cutout, glow, inner glow, and emboss down on the left. So, you can quickly activate them from here or you can go through the tabs and edit the different properties on the right. They've all been set up with some defaults and most of the time that's often all you'll need but you can get some really different effects using this stuff. Uh, if you've ever, um, if you're familiar with the uh, sticker spray you will remember that there are shadow settings in there which they're not quite as complicated, but they're the ba same basic thing as we're looking at here. So I'll just, yeah. So the first one's shadow. Shadow and cutout are the inside and outside versions of the same thing. So shadow is a dark shadow around the outside, and cutout is a dark shadow on the inside that makes your, paper, your stroke look like it's inset below the paper level. So you can see it's not visible on the black, but it's very visible on the lighter colours. Uh, so if we go back, both of these have the same options. They're both set to black by default, and they're both set to the multiply blend mode by default. Uh, the blend mode is quite important because depending on your background colour, you might not see anything. So you might need to go in here and just change the colours you're using or the, um, or the, the blend mode. It's just the same blend modes as all the layer blend modes. So once you've got something that actually shows up, you can then decide if you want it to edit the opacity. You can edit the radius. So is it very concentrated and sharp, or is it very spread out and blurry? And you can set how offset it is from the original paint. So you can get a very sharp image, like so. Let's increase opacity there. Wow. Okay. Maybe that's a little high. You can um, make it very blurry and spread out to the point where it's almost invisible and sort of subtly tint everything behind and make your, your paint pop a bit. And you can also change the light direction. So RH's default lighting is how you get all the texture for the paint tube effects. And it comes from the top, top left down. So if you want to change the shadows, you can have them come from absolutely any direction or you can just use global light to have it automatically come from the same direction as your paint. You can also turn off the canvas lighting and use the layer effects to kind of hack lighting from a different direction. Um, yeah, it might, it might be a little complicated and you might want to have a lot of different strokes on different layers to get exactly the result you want, because if your paint, your layer is one solid layer of paint, you're not going to see any shadows. But it, it would be quite possible. Uh, so cut out, same, same options, except that it's inside. And when you offset it, it just moves inside the paint. 
which again can be quite neat. And you can change the direction, get cool effects. Uh, turn that off. Glow, glow is just a, a glow that's evenly spaced all around the outside edge. And again, you can spread it out, change the opacity, change the color and change the lighting effects to get anything you like. Inner glow is the same thing, except it's inside the paint, same as for cutout. So again, this is quite a good way to sort of tint all the paint on one layer, just very subtly with any color you like. Like bright pink, that's subtle. There we go. Ha. Now we get to the last one, which is emboss. Emboss is the interesting one, which means it's complicated. Well, so emboss gives you a highlights and shadows at the same time to give you a more 3D effect. It's makes It makes all these ink paint pen strokes look a lot more like the 3D paint over there. So you can change the opacity of it. Uh, you can change the color uh, of both the highlight and the shadow separately. So you can get some weird combinations of colors by doing that. And you can change the blend modes for both of them separately if you want. Okay, that shouldn't be showing multiply, that's bug. Okay, pretend you didn't see that because it's going to be fixed in the next update. <laughs> Again, you can change the lighting effect and um, then you can go into surface tab. This is where all the interesting stuff happens. From the surface, you can change the shape of the emboss effect. So instead of just having it inside the paint, you can have it show up outside. You can have it show up both inside and outside, and you can have the pillow effect. Uh, let's see what I've done here. Yeah, I've messed with this setting so it doesn't show up properly as clearly. So here we go. Now the pillow effect makes it look a bit more raised. You've got a, a sort of an indentation right around the edge of the paint. Uh, if you take sharp contour, that's where you get some really fun sharp edges instead of a smooth flow. Everything looks very dramatic instead. Again, you can get you can get some pretty neat effects that way. And you can change the radius. Uh, whew, nice big spread all around your paint and you can change whether it goes in or out, so to speak. It really this is just swapping the lighting effects around a bit, but it's pretty neat. So but the the really cool bit is down here in the texture section. Uh, by default, it's just this blank white, so it's nothing. But if you click on the uh, texture box, you can go and load a, a texture of anything you like. It's not just like a canvas texture, anything black, white, grayscale, and it will get, add to texture to the emboss. Thing. You can adjust the scale of the texture and you can adjust so here we got a very large subtle canvas grain and you can adjust the depth this is running a bit slower i think it's because i got the screen recording going it's not usually like this <laughs> so the depth is whether it goes in or out uh, yeah. and you can put you can put anything in here so i'm just gonna See what I got. Oh yes, here's an old picture of Tycho the cat, who's the art rate mascot. You might see him around occasionally in the layers and things. Uh, yeah, if you don't know how well you can see that, but there he is in the background, showing up on everything. So if we save that and zoom in, there's a cat. Uh, you can go back, add all the effects for something painfully eye-watering. And yeah, that's the layer effects. These are live on that layer. So if you keep painting, you will get, the effects will automatically update. If you smear stuff around, you'll be messing with the existing effects and you can just sort of spread the, 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 the embossed texture around and bring its own shadow effects with it. 
yeah so that's the layer effects have fun try not to break anything and that's heart rage 5